What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about how I decide what cameras I'm going to take on what trips. So you may be asking yourself, Patrick, how do you decide what cameras you're going to take on certain trips? Well, it's pretty easy. I look at what I'm going to be doing. What kind of adventure is it? Now, when I go to places like Daniel Boone, um, um, Land Between the Lakes, anywhere like that where I'm going to be probably camping, but I'm exploring the, the roads and exploring the, the what's around, for instance. I'm probably going to divide it up between GoPros and my DSLR that I'm shooting on now. But if it's going to be, and I'm going to be in my truck, that has a lot to do with it too. Um, but if it's going to be an open vehicle such as a Jeep, and it's that type of year where you would have the top and the doors off. For instance, here's a, here's a good opportunity to look at one without tops and doors. Well, then I'm, the decision has been kind of changed for me a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to leave the DSLR at home. I'm probably not going to use that camera, this camera. And the reason for being is, is all the internal workings of this computer, this camera could be exposed to dust. And the last trip we took, there's a lot of dust. I mean, you could see the difference. You can see the dust build up in the Jeeps. You can see the dust build up on everything that was around us. Now, some people may say, well, Patrick, I've got a point and shoot. I don't have to worry about dust and stuff and point and shoots. Well, yeah, you do. That movable lens on that point and shoot, all you gotta do is get some dust behind it. It doesn't really booger up your image. Could even booger up your action of the lens. Um, I have had that happen with my Sony, or my Canon SX730, where there was for a long time until I finally got it out of there there was for a long time a little spot on the lens and we're talking little bitty but you could see it on the video every time it always bugged the chickens out of me but at the same time the point and shoot with a flip up screen makes an awesome camera for vlogging type videos but I like that refinement that I can get with my DSLR and the lens options, um, which it's kind of crazy. I shoot most of my videos with my DSLR with the kit lens because it gets the range I really want. So, but when it comes to off-roading and especially in the summer or really dry period, you could wreck a DSLR or you could wreck a point and shoot real quick with all the dust. Now, I will say you can use an iPhone or Samsung Galaxy or whatever your phone. You can use your phone if it has a good camera on it. My iPhone 13 has 4K. It has all these new options that makes it a great video camera for instance and I know a lot of people that shoot video and YouTube their videos strictly off their phone and that's awesome and that's a good way of doing it I personally prefer my cameras and when I'm off-roading I prefer using my GoPros no I'm not getting the best image I could and I could probably bump them all up to 4k and really increase the image so let's talk about another problem you can have with that with using the GoPros and bumping them up to 4k I can even bump this camera up to 4k but I choose to shoot in 1080 instead well, I'm limited by my computer from time to time. And if you're doing this on a budget, 
you can't afford all the cameras you can't afford the computers you have to make a choice somewhere and sometimes maybe the cell phone is the best option for you it may be the only option I showed a fellow this weekend that you can shoot your videos from your iPhone or from your whatever phone you have edit them and put them on YouTube without having a computer and sure that may be the best bet but for filming the off-road videos I prefer to use my GoPros I just do if you know water gets on it it's not going to kill it if dust gets in not going to kill it the other thing we have to consider with the GoPros when using these for action videos such as four-wheeling or uh, dirt biking whatever you're doing is the ruggedness of these things now this thing I have not cleaned it up there's probably some dust and dirt and stuff that's all over it same goes with the Hero 5 what I will use what I will do a lot of times is I will use this for the vlogging part of the video this for the action shots and then I use my sessions for the dash cam now I still use my sessions with for the dash cam even when I'm shooting on the road with this camera because it just it's a lot easier and I always use this one for my action shots on my um, pole so that way I can get it down by the tire or I can get it out towards the weeds or whatever um, this one I won't say it becomes a disposable camera but well, it kinda this well, I try to keep it in as good a shape as possible. I have screen protectors on it. I have the screen protector on it. But you can look and see, if this thing focuses, you can see dirt on this thing. And I mean, there's lots of it. And it's actually, has, a lot of it has wiped off. But from one little Jeep trip, that thing was covered in dirt. And so was that. that, that both of them were just nasty from dirt. So I really haven't cleaned them up to the hilt but and I probably will especially wiping the lenses down on the fronts because that's usually where your fingerprints end up and that kind of stuff but also with this one it's not totally sealed right now because it's got the media mod on it so it's not waterproof at this point so that kind of takes that one out of the equation of getting it close to mud and that kind of stuff but now this one fine it's good to go the only downside to your GoPros from a certain level down is your microphone was right there. Now, with the newer GoPros, the microphone's right there. So you get better audio already out of these. These, you're going to get audio, but you're not going to get the greatest and clearest audio. I'll wrap this one up, and I guess basically what, I, what I'm going to say is, is shoot with what you got, but think about what kind of videos you're making are you making an action video where you need a GoPro and not a DSLR like I'm shooting on or a point and shoot? You know, just neither one of those would be great for action. Uh, I mean, you're going to ruin a point and shoot or this camera in a dirt, dust, water type situation every time. But these, they'll take it. They'll take quite a bit of abuse. Um, this one's been dropped. The Hero Sessions has been dropped. I pick them up and keep them going. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you got some good, uh, you know, information out of it, please share, share, subscribe, and send it to your friends and hit that bell icon. And there's a lot of you that still are not subscribed. I really would like to have a bunch of you subscribe to us. So come back, watch the next one. Be prepared.